Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to test the transformers and you're going also to learn the working principle of transformers besides of the transformer pin configuration. So let's get started. So as you can see here we have a transform as you can see it has many terminals in both sides as you can see you can find four terminals two terminals six terminals and so on so this is basically a transformer that we gonna study in this video here we have the first inductor here we have the second inductor because the transformer contains many inductors inside it so here we have another transformer that composite of main inductor as you can see the first one the second one and this is the third inductor or coil basically if you test these inductors using the multimeter you should get a continuity or you should hear a buzzer because basically the inductor is just a wire so let's draw right now the symbol for the transformer in order to go deeper into understanding how it works so basically this is an inductor here we have the second inductor so two inductors with a metal in the middle equal a transformer okay as you can see here we have two inductors with a metal between the two inductors so here basically this is a real transformer I will show you right now the metal as you can see this is the metal that pass between the inductors here we have inductors you can see basically the inductor is just a wire or a wind a winding so here this is the first winding we called this first inductor the primary winding okay the primary winding or the input winding okay and the second one we called it the output winding or the secondary winding so the energy will pass from the primary winding to the secondary winding in accordance with the type of the transformer here basically we have the power supply or the EC voltage in the primary winding so the energy will pass to the secondary winding and then to the load okay so the load can be anything maybe a circuit maybe a lamp etc so basically the output voltage is depend of the number of winding or the turns inside a winding so let's for example draw the symbol or the schematic for this transformer here as you can see we have the first or the primary winding with two windings in the output so we have primary and we have here the secondary there are some transformers that can contain more than two inductors in the output. So here, as you can see, this is the first inductor and here we have the second. Okay, so the output voltage is depends of the type of the transformer and the number of turns in each inductor. So let's draw this transformer as we have here. It contains two inductor in the primary stage and two other inductors in the secondary stage as you can see here we have four pins in each side of the transformer so using the multimeter you should get a buzzer or a continuity when you test each inductor so let's check this transformer using the multimeter so we can of course select the continuity option or the buzzer option okay in order to test the transformer so we're gonna select the continuity option as you can see here in the multimeter so let's press the power button now let's test 
each inductor we should hear a buzzer or and get a low resistance in the multimeter so here we don't have anything maybe we will get something here as you can see we have the two terminals in the middle are one inductor and the two other terminals in the sides are the second inductor as you can see okay we get a buzzer here we have the first and here we have the second inductor okay so you the multimeter is a very important tool that you should use to determine each inductor here we have another inductor and here we have the second inductor basically this is the output or the secondary winding so this transformer is a good transformer this is a serviceable transformer if you find any cutted winding or if you don't hear any buzzer in any inductor means the transformer is failed so basically the working principle of the transformers is to transfer the energy from the primary winding to the secondary winding or from one circuit to another circuit okay so basically this is the main working principle of transformer okay so it will transfer an x energy to a y energy the energy in the output can be increased or decreased depending on the type of the transformer and the numbers of the turns of winding inside in inductor so let's assume for example that we have this transformer it has 100 turn in the first or in the primary winding and 50 turns in the secondary winding so here we will have for example x energy we will get in the output y energy of course in this state or in this case the y energy will be less than the x energy okay so depending on the type of transformer or number of turns you will get an output so here we have other transformers as you can see that we gonna check using the multimeter so basically this transformer it has a cutted terminal basically here we have four terminals so this is the first inductor as you can see and here we have the second okay the second inductor it has a cutted terminal but this is a serviceable transformer here as you can see in the output we have three inductors this is the first the second and the third so all inductors are good so the transformer is good so let's draw the schematic or the diagram of this transformer basically it has four two inductors in the input okay and three inductors in the output because we have six terminals in the output okay let's see here we have the power we have about 100 we have 220 volt and 15 hertz in the output so we will get for example here in the output 12 volt in the first inductor 15 volt and 28 volt in the third inductor so this is just an example so this is the working principle of the transformer the input voltage will be transformed to a different output voltage of course you will get about you will get for example 12 volt dc because there is other components 
use it with the transformer like diodes and capacitors in order to filter the current. So here, as you can see, we get a different voltage in the output because these inductors are different in terms of number of windings.